Welcome to the show, little Bon Jovi. My life. The music doesn't stop. It's perfect. All right, there we go. Bon Jovi. Rocking it. I think I share the same birthday as Bon Jovi, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I also have the same birthday as the um, children's book writer, Dr. Seuss. So maybe that explains my brain. Uh, uh. What's up, people? I am in South Dakota. Um, I am right near Mount Rushmore. Um, what the hell is the name of that city I'm in? I don't know. Um, but I'm headed to uh, Illinois. Got to be in Illinois on Monday. So I'm going to have a nice leisurely weekend. A couple hundred miles tomorrow, a couple hundred miles on Sunday. I think I'm like 900 miles away. No big deal. So, Friday night. I am obviously doing nothing, living a trucker's lifestyle, living a meathead lifestyle, be searching for a fucking gym tomorrow. <clears throat> where am I? Rapid City? Does that sound right? Where's Mount, where the fuck is Mount Rushmore? I don't know. I drove, drove through Sturgis. Uh, about a half hour ago, you know where the big motorcycle rally is? Now I'm, uh, through my windshield said yes, whatever yes means. Rapid City, South Dakota. Thank you. <clears throat> yes. Pretty nice out here. This is my first time in the Dakotas. Um, I was in Montana for a day and a half yesterday. First time in Montana. I, so I think uh, the only states left I haven't been to are North Dakota and I think New Vermont. Where have I been to Vermont? I don't know, the lower 48. There's only a couple of states I haven't been to now. North Dakota. It's either Vermont or New Hampshire. No, I've been to New Hampshire, so it must be Vermont I've never been to. Uh. So, what's on everybody's minds? Same thing as usual. Steroids, squirting pussies, latent homosexuality. I don't count Alaska. I've said the lower 48. Sioux and Blackfoot country, huh? Yeah. Jay, you need to film yourself ripping disgusting farts during deadlifts. That's fucking... How old are you? Are you fucking 10? Jesus Christ. Latent and undiagnosed homosexuality. That's right. Big J, what up, big boy? I don't know. Look, I'm just reading comments right now. Trying to see if anyone... Hamburg is still awake. Jesus Christ, what's his blood alcohol level right now? Oh, here's a good one. How's the weight loss going? Progressing and what's your goal weight? Um, I actually had a pretty bad month on the diet, and I'm going to explain to you guys why. Um, I did continue to get leaner in the month of March, um, but I started joking around. That's why I started that hashtag, Recomp2019, because I completely stopped losing weight. I, and actually, in March, I actually put on a few pounds, um... Even though I was, I'm still continuing to get leaner. And those of you that don't think I am, look at my fucking face. If you don't think I'm getting leaner, go fuck yourself. Um, I know you guys hate to see what I eat when I post pictures. 
telling me that you're never going to lose any weight that way, you're right. I haven't been losing weight, but I'm still getting leaner, so fuck you. So here's what happened. My birthday was the beginning of the month, and I love triple chocolate cake. That's my favorite fucking cake. It might not be my favorite dessert, but it's my favorite fucking cake. Triple chocolate cake. So when I quit drinking in the end of December, I pretty much quit eating all garbage. I didn't have any soda pop. I didn't have any fucking chocolate. I didn't have any fucking ice cream. I wasn't eating bread. I wasn't eating pasta. I pretty much gave up all shit food. I wasn't dieting. I was on more of like a recomp um, program, just giving up shit. So um, anyway, so by the time my birthday came around, I had been eating pretty fucking clean for about two months. And I'm like, you know what? I want a fucking steak dinner, and I want triple chocolate cake, and I don't care if I have anything else. If I just have steak and chocolate cake, I'll be happy on my fucking birthday. Well, I wound up being fucking stuck at some truck stop in Wyoming on my birthday. Bullshit fucking Country Pride Diner. So I did. I had a shitty dinner the night of my birthday, which really disappointed me. I didn't want a party. I didn't want presents. All I wanted was a nice goddamn dinner. And I'm stuck in some shithole diner in Wyoming. So I never got my goddamn triple chocolate cake. So I started doing little teeny cheats, like, oh, you can have that piece of garlic bread with your dinner, or, yeah, you know what, I've been craving a Mountain Dew, I can have a Mountain Dew with my dinner tonight, you know, oh, I can have this, I can have that, and I was just doing little, little cheats, not having, like, a big cheat meal like I should have. Um, so we get to the end of goddamn March, and I fucking hop on the scale, and I'm fucking back up to motherfucking three fucking forty. So the moral of the story is I should have just had the goddamn triple chocolate cake and then went back to doing what I was doing. Because by not having the cake that I motherfucking wanted, I wound up being worse off. Because then I wound up having little teeny cheats spread out th all through the fucking month. So anyway, that's that. I'm back on track now. I still haven't had my motherfucking chocolate cake, but I think I'm fucking over it. So we're going to have to wait for another event where Jay can have triple chocolate cake. <clears throat> so, anyway. Hopefully I'll be back. To, I, what did I get down to? You guys remember 327 or something? Anyway. That's that. So, I went on a little early tonight. Um, it's 5 o'clock Mountain Time. Because I want to be done before um, Kim and Crystal go on the air with their, uh, what do they call that? The Fit Chicks Triple X Live or whatever they're doing, where they talk about fucking cock and pussy and stuff like that. <clears throat> I want to wrap up before they get up, go on because I don't want to, I want to help them out. I don't want to hurt them. Actually, I wouldn't mind hurting them just a little. A little bit of the belt never hurt anybody. <laughs> Unless you're the one getting the belt. No lot lizards today. Looking like 315 right now. I wish. Right. 315 seconds from a heart attack. Yeah, I know. I, I got to get under 300 pounds at over 50 years old. I just have to. This doesn't matter what your body fat is or how good a shape you're in, how much you train, how well you're eating. Statistically, if you're over 300 pounds in your 50s, you're, you're like probably a million times greater to have a heart attack. So it's tough, though. God. Who sent me a request? Someone I don't know, Danny Almeida. I don't know you. All right, let's get back to the fucking... Oh, there's another one, too. Oh, a Nike Life Chad? Yeah, whatever. Like, I know you. 
I'm not going to risk someone showing their fucking butthole like they do to Big Rob. My little brother loves your page. Can I get a shout out for him? His name is Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. You're a cookie cutter, Mike Hunt. Big J, do you remember the football player Angelo Mosca? No, I do not. Ooh, Tom said he'll give me Patty to punish. Yes, I like that. <clears throat> yes. Fit Chicks chat, Jay. Thank you, Gavin. Good to see you on here, Gavin. So Gavin's going to be on here, and then he'll be going over to Fit Chicks with Crystal and Kim. I really like the way I'm seeing a lot of you cum stains um, supporting Joe um, at 3 o'clock on his uh, Muscle Sports Mag um, live. Because uh, I really like Joe. Um, you know, th th there's certain, and he had Tony Huge on there today, which was a nice treat, because I really like Tony Huge, too. Uh, Tony Huge fed me some Kratom when I was at the Olympia Expo. He's a cool dude. Then I wound up fucking, like, resting in their booth. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was Tony Huge's booth. Who's, I don't know whose booth we were at. But anyway, the guy looked at me, and he's like, dude, do you need to sit down? And I'm like, I would love to. Um, and I, I, just, I just went and sat down in this booth like I fucking belonged there, and I was just, just fucking resting. Oh, God. Try eating fried mayonnaise balls. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Joe isn't PC. That's for goddamn sure. All right, what's Ariana's biggest fan got to say? Joe is a Don. Deserved nothing but love and support. He's as genuine as it gets. I agree. Um, Jay, what do you think of 100 milligrams of test and 100 milligrams of DECA for a cruise? I think that's retarded. Um... DECA is the absolute worst drug to cruise on. Um, I would use DECA in your blast portion. Um, and because DECA has too many bad side effects. Why would you want to cruise on DECA? You want to cruise on a low dosage of something that, that doesn't have any fucking side effects. You know, like 200 test, 200 EQ. That's a nice little cruise. Um, no, I would never cruise on DECA. I, I, I'm never going to do DECA again unless I need it for an injury. Um, DECA sucks. I like playing with my dick too much. Do you do direct arm work for that 500 bench? Uh, for triceps, my, my meat and potatoes for triceps is the close grip bench. Um, and I do the close grips on chest day um, after my bench and my incline. Close grips is usually my third exercise. I usually do two chest pressing movements, like bench, flat bench and decline, or flat bench and incline. And then my third exercise, I will go back to the flat bench and do close grip for my triceps. I like to do close grip bench when I'm relatively fresh so that I can lift heavy weights on my close grips. Um, and my third exercise, I still got some gas in the tank. Um, you know, we, when you do close grips way at the fucking end and you're, you're using a light weight, what, what the fuck good is that? I'd like to do a podcast, but... All right, Gavin, I'll meet you over there at Fit Chicks in an hour. <laughs> First cycle recommendation for size purposes. Well, you always want to do test. You know, people people send me some stupid direct messages. Jay, should I do D-ball? You know, like, no, no. If you only have them, if you're on a budget, and you can only afford one compound. You always pick testosterone. 
If your budget allows you a second compound, you stack an anabolic steroid with your testosterone. And I'm a firm believer that your second compound should be an injectable, like a DECA, an EQ, a Prima Bowen, something like that. Um, and then if money allows a third compound, you kickstart that injectable cycle with six weeks of an oral in the beginning. So for the first six weeks, you're on three things. Test, an injectable steroid, and your oral. And then week seven, um, you discontinue the oral, and you're just on your testosterone and your injectable steroid. <clears throat> That's pretty much your cookie-cutter cycle. Test, an injectable anabolic, and an oral to help kickstart the first six weeks. Um, you don't ever want to do just an oral, because um, it's going to shut down your goddamn natural production system. Um, and orals have a shitty half-life. You know, D-ball is only active in your bloodstream for about six fucking hours. Uh, Anavar's like ten. Um, you know, so some of those orals you should be taking twice a day. Um, Winstrel, you don't need to take twice a day. Um, Anadrol, I don't think you need to take Anadrol twice a day. But a lot of those orals you do. Um, so, so doing a, just an injectable or just an oral by themselves for your cycle, that only works for women. It's not going to work for a guy. A guy has got to jack his testosterone for some of those anabolics to even work. Like if you were to do an EQ, equipoise only cycle, you wouldn't gain jack motherfucking shit because EQ is so low on the androgenic side, EQ is almost exclusively anabolic. So EQ isn't even going to fucking work without taking testosterone for a man. For a woman, that's a whole different program. Um, but no, you always start with testosterone as your number one compound when designing a cycle. <clears throat> Some people will go to an oral for their second compound, you know, like a test in a D-ball or a test in an Anavar, um, whatever. Um, I just think most orals are too toxic. Um, so I don't know. Hope that answers your question. Let's talk more about female ejaculation or something. Jay, I think I strained the upper left part of my pec. Just some discomfort when benching, a little pain. What should I do? Rest. Um, put an ice bag on it. Don't take any fucking aspirin. Um, take maybe some ibuprofen or some Aleve. Um, and definitely rest it. You don't want to... You know, a lot of times we think we tore a back, and it could have been just a real bad cramp. Um, like if... Let's, for example, if you're taking creatine, you might have just been a little dehydrated. So I would just ice it, rest it, um, take some Aleve liquid gels, some anti-inflammatory. Aleve really helps heal things. I like Aleve, which is naproxen. Um, and uh, your next bench program, next time you bench, just go in there and do something real light, you know, for five, six sets of ten. Um, just to get a blood pump and, and then reevaluate it. Be cautious. You got the rest of your life to lift. So always be cautious with injuries. Broad gay health. Jay, you need to come in and have some blood work done, buddy. Who is broad gay health? I'm trying to see that picture. I can't see who that is. Yeah, I'd like to get some blood work done. <clears throat> right now is the perfect time because I'm coming off everything. I'm going to be just on test. i got a handful of Winstrel pills left. Um, that's about it. I'm off the uh, trend master on. So... Jay, how many max sets should I do for my arms to gain size? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, like, it really depends on the person. Your arms are a small motherfucking muscle. I think most people overtrain their arms. Um, 
you know, just like most people overtrain their hamstrings. You know, lately for hamstrings, I've been doing, after I get done with my squats, my hack squats, and my leg press, I've been going over to the leg curl machine, doing a warm-up set, like 70 pounds for like 10 or 12 reps, taking a fucking nice long break, you know, four minutes or so, and then putting on a heavy fucking weight and doing an all-out set or 10 or 12. So for hamstrings, I've been doing basically one work set because that warm-up set doesn't really count. And my hamstrings have been getting stronger every fucking week off one set. So, arms are the same way. If you can get your arms stronger off one work set a week, why would you do two? Think about it. Less is always going to be more. Always. Always. Um... You know, you guys look at these workouts that the, the, the people put out there on the Internet and, you know, back in the old days, they were in magazines. A lot of misinformation gets put out there. You know, pe people will say, oh, I do 20 sets of arms. Well, they're doing that on purpose to fuck you up. It's called sabotaging your competition. Arnold fucking started that shit back in the fucking 70s, getting in Lou Ferrigno's head. Don't be a fucking idiot. Here we go. Danny Almeida, 18. Test is the base for all cycles, period, end of story. Exactly. The father, the trend, the son. Yes. I thought EQ was the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that's true. But EQ is replaceable. You know, let's say you do test, trend, and EQ off-season. You do the Holy Trinity off-season. Um, let's say you're a bodybuilder and you want to, coming into prep, you want to replace the EQ with Masteron. What do you call test, trend, and Masteron? It's, we can't call it the Holy Trinity because na that name's already taken. So if we're going to replace the Masteron for e the EQ for Masteron, we need a name for that cycle. Because that's what I just got done doing, test, trend, and Masteron with the um, Winstrel Orals, and that's an incredible cycle. Absolutely incredible. I, I love that cut blend that you pin every other day. That shit is mentally addicting as fuck. On the days that you don't pin, you wake up and you want to pin. It, that cycle gets in your fucking head. That test probe, um, trend acetate, and masteron probe, you want you you get so fucking hooked on that mentally. You want to pin that every day. Do truckers still like to do crank? I wouldn't know. Would you recommend the same routine for younger, skinnier guys with maybe more endurance, Jay? I don't know. Um, I, I you know if you're a young skinny guy, you know that's the definition of a hard gainer. Um, and for you hard gainers out there, eating is going to be more important than anything else. Um, eat, 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 eat. Um, you know, they're starting to say that, that I just read a scientific study recently that um, that old bullshit that you couldn't, you couldn't absorb as much protein eating three big meals or four big meals as you can eating six times a day. They're saying that's bullshit now. So don't worry about eating six meals unless you're in contest prep and your guru is making you eat six times a day. Because if you're a hard gainer and you're going to eat big meals, you can't do that six times a day. I'm sorry. Nobody can. If you're a hard gainer and you're eating big, shoot for four times a day. You know, your three, your three traditional meals and then a, um, a nighttime meal. Um, and that, even eating four big meals is tough. You're going to be fucking full all the fucking time. But if you're a hard gainer, a young, skinny guy, you got to eat. you got to eat. you got to eat. Um, I remember when I was in high school, I used to eat two thick motherfucking peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with fucking milk right at bedtime. And I, I think back then I was drinking like fucking 
faggoty ass one percent or two percent milk, the homosexual stuff. So yeah, I'd eat, eat, eat. You know, I think when I was a teenager, I probably did three different exercises for biceps and three different exercises for triceps. So, well, what? So maybe I was doing three work set. You know, your top set is the one that counts. Um, you know, I really, as I got older, I started watching those Dorian Yates training videos on YouTube. And Dorian is a firm believer in the heavy duty program, um, developed by the late, great Mike Mensner, where you do one super intense work set per exercise. The rest, the, the warm ups don't count. We're just talking at the very end. You do when you get to your top weight. You do one super intense, extreme max effort set. Then you move on to your next exercise, and 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 you do a warm up set. So you're already warmed up basically. When you get to the second and third exercise, those warm up sets are basically rest sets because you can't keep doing those super intense sets back to back to back. It just isn't possible. You need you need a full five minutes for ATP replenishment. That's fucking ninth grade fucking biology. So you know, I don't know. I just don't think for a small muscle like the biceps you need you know, unless you're a pro and getting ready to get on stage. I mean how many sets did Dale do of biceps? And he still got third, you know? So Dale could have done less biceps and still got a third. So more doesn't more isn't going to be always better, especially for a hard gainer and especially for an aging athlete. Um, the Dorian Yates way of doing things, the heavy duty style program, works for me as I've gotten older. When I was young, if you would have told me I only need one super hard set per exercise, I would have told you to go jump in a fucking lake. You know, I was a five sets of five kind of guy. I want to do five hard sets of bench press, five hard sets of squats, five hard sets of deadlifts. You know, you can't do that at my age. So um, I, I started training more of the Dorian Yates style way, and it fucking works. It fucking works. Do you think you can rap better than Jay Cream? Why would I even try? The last thing I want to do is do anything associated with the hip-hop culture. The closest I want to come to the hip-hop culture is maybe wearing a pair of Timberland boots. Because I was wearing those before the PMs were wearing them. Rod, uh, let's see. I tried injectable Winnie, and the injection is way more painful than test. Well, of course, it's water based. Your body absorbs that water right away and leaves a lump of powder in your muscle. It sucks. Do you do penis stretching? What? <laughs> Here's one Bates, son. Jay, why do I love steroids so much? Well, you probably were born an addict, so I suggest you stay away from hard drugs and alcohol. You'll be fine on steroids. Jay, we're supposed to have a lot of guys competing at the Ruby this year. Dale, Lenny, Jason, Cornelius, etc. How many of them do you think will actually show? Um, well, I believe Lenny's going to do it. Um, I don't know. Dale's pretty fat. If Dale can get stage ready for the Ruby, that'll be pretty cool. Um, Cornelius will probably wind up injured again. That guy's frail. And Jason is just a retard. Jason will wind up at Burger King the week of the show. Okay. Crack Music Incorporated. Mr. Masters, how big can you get just eating food with no supplementary protein powder and without being on a stack? I know nothing about your situation, so I can't answer that question. But you don't really need protein powder or protein bars. 
Um, I, I'm a firm believer that real food is better, especially if you're dieting. Um, if you are dieting, trying to get lean or cut, and you're relying on protein powder and protein bars, that is a recipe for fucking disaster. You are going to look like shit. To get lean, you need real food. Um, I think protein bars and, and protein powders are really more for an emergency, for missed meals. Or maybe not even emergency, maybe a, maybe a planned missed meal. Like, you know, like, oh, I gotta pick somebody up at the airport, I'm gonna, I, I can't make dinner, so I'm gonna have a shake. Or something like that. You have a shake or a bar when you can't get real food. Or if you're bulking, you do it to just increase your macros. But do not diet on goddamn powders and bars. I, I swear to God, you will look like shit. Oh. What's wrong with my nose? Um, I don't know. I did a, I did a couple Stridex pads today. Is it a little red? I shaved yesterday and woke up this morning with a bunch of fucking whiteheads. So I had to pop a bunch of whiteheads this morning, and I did Stridex on my nose. Stridex, those Stridex pads are pretty extreme. All right, here's a good one. Why does Cornelius look like he's on cocaine? Is he trying to look tough with his eyes wide open, or is he just that ugly? I don't know. I have no clue. But I know that guy comes out of retirement, and then he's back in a cast fucking a couple weeks later. His program doesn't work. Look at Dale. Dale gets in a little fender bender, and he's out of commission for fucking two years because he was frail. Lex, hear a racist rant. Um, fuck you, you Jew. How about that? <laughs> Rod, what's your name, Rodriguez? That sounds fucking Mexican, you lazy fuck. Get back to the salad bar. The cucumbers are a little low, boy. Cut me some cucumbers. Oh, Lou is live, and guess who he's talking about? You. Why would Lou be talking about me? I don't talk about Lou. Mm -mm. Jay, what's the point of running Master on if you're not lean? Not trolling, I'm serious. Always heard Master on to be good AI replacement and for hardness. Um, you are correct. Um... To really see the full benefits of Masteron, um, it works obviously much better on a leaner individual. That's just common sense. You're no Einstein, trust me. But I was doing some reading that even for a, a heavier person, a, a Masteron cycle, when it attaches to the fucking androgen receptor, it can stimulate... Um, What's the word for fat burning? Lipolysis or liposos or liposos, lipososis or something like that? I don't know how to pronounce that word. <clears throat> but basically fat burning metabolism. Masteron will stimulate fat burning metabolism when it bonds with the androgen receptor. So androgen works if you're lean. Andro I mean, uh, Masteron is good for anything. Mastron is a luxury item. If you can afford it, add it to your cycle. If you can't, don't. Don't try and follow these rules. Um, some of the rules are good, but when it comes to Mastron, hey, if you can afford it, run it. H how is it going to make your cycle worse? It's not. Mastron's going to make any cycle better. <clears throat> Jay, what's your take on people doing a final set to burn out as a way to end their workout? Um, drop sets can be effective for gaining size, but drop sets are a great way to kill your strength. Um, you never want to burn out if you want to be strong. Um, 
I think when, when, when you see when you see these morons stripping the bar and going all the way down, um, they might as well have taken the day off. You're not putting on any muscle doing that. You're just exercising. You're just beating yourself up. Um, it's fucking retarded. Um, I would use a drop set here and there, but very sparingly. Um, double drop sets, that's even more retarded. Um, you know, maybe if you've got a contest coming up and you're just trying to burn calories, um, that's about all it's good for. You know, you are going to get a pump. If you're trying to get nutrition and into the muscle, I guess a pump is good. But for the most part, I would use drop sets very sparingly. Um, I don't know. Hope that answers your question. Why not incorporate HIIT for weight loss into your workouts if that's your goal? I don't know what HHIT is. HIIT is. Is that high intensity like CrossFit or something gay? I'm not going to train the, change the way I train. If I want to get leaner, I'll get leaner with the knife and fork. Conditioning is all knife and fork. If somebody is eating crappy, Cardio is not going to fix that. All the cardio in the world is not going to fix that. And and doing light weight for high reps, like when people say, oh, you need to go lighter if you want to lose weight, do more reps. If you're eating fucking hamburgers and fries and Coke, you know, if you're eating a fucking value meal at McDonald's, you can do all the high reps and all the cardio you want. You're not going to lose weight. Stop thinking you can change your fucking, your, your body fat with fucking the way you train. Conditioning is all knife and fork. Jesus fucking Christ. Tell us about the time a hooker gave you heroes. Is that supposed to be herpes? I never had herpes, bro. Huh. Less is not more when giving a woman a cream pie. I agree. The more cum you get in her pussy, the happier everyone's going to be. Unless, of course... You're her husband. <clears throat> Jay, would you ever consider getting your TRT script for Broadway Medical just to piss off Big Lou? Oh, is that the name of his company? Oh, I had no idea. I don't know anything about what's going on with Lou. I, I'm totally out of the loop with the Del Rey situation. I, I don't know, what, am I not welcome there or something? I didn't know Lou was ranting and raving about me. I'd rather not even talk about Lou. Let, let Lou do his thing and just leave me out of it. <clears throat> if I don't say anything bad about him, it just makes him look like an idiot. Bateson, you can run DECA as a base. What do you mean, as opposed to testosterone? That's a great way to get fucking, be, become fucking impotent. The God Stack. There we go. Salad Bar Guy said it's called the God Stack when you do test, trend, and, ma and master on. <clears throat> Thanks, Salad Bar Guy. <laughs> Don't tell me to go racist when you have a Mexican name. I'm going to fuck you over. Jay, what do you think about lifting for fighting? I don't know. Boxing has weight classes, so you don't want to get too big. <clears throat> I do not know. Oh, salad bar guy said, I've been doing subcutaneous test injections, and it's way better than intermuscular. Less estrogen sides. Well, that's because the uh, subcutaneous injections are um, s released slower into your bloodstream, so you're going to have less of a testosterone spike so, yeah, you're, you're going to have less side effects if you have less of a spike. Um, yeah, I'm a firm believer in um, subcutaneous testosterone injections, especially if you're on TRT and the doctor's only giving you one cc a week. If you want to get the most out of that cc, 
Um, shoot it into your belly fat. Don't shoot it into the muscle. Three solid meals and a few snacks. Well, it depends what your snacks are. If your snacks are a tub of cottage cheese, yeah, I agree with you. Why are you avoiding Lou? He clearly keeps clowning you on his live. You must be scared. Dude, would you stop it? I'm not going to say anything bad about Lou. Lou's got my phone number. If Lou wants to fucking reach me, he can call me. I got no problem with Lou. Lou just had knee surgery. He's not ready to do anything about it. Just let him rant and rave. He's going to need soldier surgery. He's going to need... Lou's a mess. So leave Lou alone. Here we go. Gavin, I eat four meals a day, and it works so much, Jay. Alonzo Amazing. I like it when Jay gets a haircut. I do too. I hate it when I let that beard go. I like being clean shaven and clean cut. Like a fucking white boy. Keep talking and avoiding Lou. We know you mouth off about nonsense to kill time. Jesus Christ. Tell Lou to unblock me. Lou's got me blocked on fucking Instagram. I, I, all these clowns that, that, that wanted to fight me in December want no parts of the, of the April, Jay. Trust me. I'm drinking for you, Jay. Well, that's great. I'm happy. Wish I could have a beer with you, but I'd wind up drinking 20. Hamburg 75. I just do one exercise for biceps and triceps, and that's my best parts. See? Thank you, Mr. Hamburg. What tobacco did you smoke? I liked um, monkey mints. Menthol cigarettes. Um, the Garden of Eden cycle. Well, the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden. That's where Adam and Eve enjoyed the apple because the snake, who was actually Satan, lured them into it. I'd have to think about that. I'll tell you what, Satan, Satan a, a cycle involving Satan would have to involve Tren. Ugh. Marijuana is okay, right? Yes. Marijuana should be legal and we should all be smoking it every day, all day. <clears throat> Here we go. I don't drink often, but I drink for the wrong reasons. Like what? What's the wrong reason to have a beer? Oh, the right reason to have a beer is, you know, you worked all goddamn day. It's fucking hot out. You need a goddamn shower. I'm going to have a motherfucking beer. Cool off. Sit here in my chair for a minute while my bitch makes dinner. <clears throat> I'm just kidding, but... No, that's the right reason to have a beer. Hey, if you can, if you're the type of person that can have two or three beers after work and stop, good for you, man. I'm just not wired that way. You know, I'm I'm drinking that whole motherfucking case and then taking an Uber to the goddamn bar. I got a problem. Gavin, I didn't know you've been training for 16 years.
<laughs> Joe Patero's nose. I'm a nose expert. You look fine, Jay. <laughs> yeah, keep Joe away from my cocaine with that schnoz of his. He'll do the whole fucking baggie. Best pre-leg workout meal. I don't eat before I train, so you're asking the wrong guy. Yeah, I'd like to maybe do the podcast. My eyes won't stop fucking watering. Um, the day after Easter, maybe, I'm available to do a podcast if I make it home. Jane's Wet Labia. Jay, what do you think about stacking test with, ah, fuck it, just bend over and show me your stuff? That's right. Q is not a race, dumb fuck. You must have meant to say Jew. Well, no, Jew is a religion, you asshole, but it, there are some ethnic Jews. You can look at them and tell they're a fucking Jew. <clears throat> Ethnic is not a race, though. I agree with that. But there are ethnic Jews. Don't even fuck with me. What is your opinion on strongman training? Um, I think it's a great way to have fun. It's also a great way to get hurt. Um, strongman competitions are an absolute fucking blast. You meet the best people at a strongman show. You don't have all those fucking cookie-cutter fucking homo weirdo freaks like at a bodybuilding show. Um, get into Strongman. I, I had a good time with the couple Strongman shows I did. The people are great that you meet in that sport. Those are real people, not like bodybuilding freaks. Hamburg says, Clen, Masteron with Anadrol five days before the stage. I wouldn't know because I'm never touching Clen ever again. Too old for Clen. Liposis? Is that it? Ariana's biggest fan? L-I-P-O-S-I-S? -I, -S? I thought there was a Y in that word. I don't know. But Masteron stimulates that when it bonds with the androgen receptor. Jay, what's your favorite underground lab, and why do you use any prepaid prepared mixes? Um, I don't have a favorite underground lab, and the the mixture that I just got done doing of Test, Trend, and Mastron um, was given to me by a guy because he wanted me to do his gear, um, and if I liked it, I could become a customer, and uh, he wants me to help him. You know, maybe like close friends, people that I know personally, you know, maybe get it for them. But that's about it. Drop sets is a good way to tear your muscle. I, I, I never heard that, but I, I guess I agree. Ever try enhancement site or try site enhancement oils? No, I think that's gay. When are you going to get shredded like Dale? Never. I just want to be swole. I'd like to get down to like 290, you know, which is like 30, 40 fucking pounds. That's enough. Get down to 290. Get under 300. Get statistically, you know, far less likely to have a heart attack if I can get under 300. I'd love to be 290. You know, 275, I'm getting in real good shape at 275. Um... Ever think about getting into arm wrestling? No, I'm a terrible arm wrestler. Um, and it also hurts me. There's something, into, I'm not built for arm wrestling. No, no, no. Leave that to the pros. Jay, thoughts on DHB? I have no idea what that is. Primo and Ment. What the fuck is Ment? Um, Primo, Primo is, is really overrated. Um, Primo is basically a DHT-derived anabolic steroid. Um, it's highly anabolic. It doesn't aromatize, so there's no estrogen side effects. Um, it, it's, it's slightly more androgenic than EQ. Um, 
So a lot of people like it more than EQ. You are going to gain more strength on Primo than EQ, and Primo is going to work faster than EQ. Um, the problem with Primo is Primo is so motherfucking expensive because everybody thinks it's some miracle drug, and it's not. Um, so it's overpriced, and it's frequently faked. A lot of times it'll just be goddamn test with a Primo bowl and label on it because people want to take a cheap bottle of test and then charge you for Primo Bowling. So if you want to do Primo Bowling, you're looking for problems. Um, you're going to pay more, and if it's real, you're going to pay more if it's real, and odds are it's probably fake anyway. Um, my suggestion would be take something cheap, like EQ, and stack it with something highly androgenic like Masteron, and you're going to get Prima Bolin like effects without the high price and without the risk of buying counterfeit. <clears throat> so, how about them apples? No one's ever thought of that, have they? Stacking EQ and Masteron. That happens to be uh, my next cycle. Test C, sipping eight. Equipoise, Masteron E this time, and I'm probably going to kickstart it with Terinoball, commonly referred to as T-Ball, the first six weeks. I'm going to be on the T-Ball with those three injectables. We'll see how that works. It's going to be a nice, long, slow, mellow cycle. Does trucking pay for your meals? No, but since you're living on the road, um, you are allowed a per diem. You need an accountant to figure that all out for you. Um, so no, the company doesn't pay for your meals. Um, it's, bas it's basically a tax thing. Um, some companies will give you a per diem, but you're earning that per diem anyway. So it's not like they're paying for your meals. Like when I worked for one of the bigger companies, um, what they did to give me my per diem is my per diem came out of my check pre-tax dollars. Um, I, I can't remember exactly how it worked, but um, they give you a big chunk of your check tax-free so you're getting a bigger paycheck even though your gross is the same. And that winds up paying for your on-the-road expenses, your per diem, like your meals, your laundry, you know, everything that you, you incur living on the road. You really need an accountant. I'm terrible with that shit. What time is it getting to be? Is it getting to be time for Crystal and Kim? I'm looking forward to that. Pollard just texted me. He just got a, cran a tranny from Craigslist and hooked up. He's trolling you, Hamburg. There is no fucking way Pollard got a tranny. But he was just, in our private group, he was just posting a picture and saying he would fuck that dude in the ass. Is that what's going on today? Lou's having the ribbon cutting at the clinic? Well, good for him. I don't want to fuck with Lou. Let Lou enjoy himself, man. Last thing me and Lou need is to fucking get back in our little fucking bullshit fucking feud. It's unhealthy for everybody involved. Jane's wet labia. I'm sick of you talking shit about my son, Jay. Listen, Jane. Jason's way out of control with his behavior, and I think we need to teach him a lesson. And I think we do that by making him watch me fuck you. I think that will teach Jason some humility to see his mother fall victim to the bedroom bully.
<laughs> Leave my son alone, you asshole. Jane, you are a whore, and I'm going to buttfuck you in front of Jason. Hey, what's up, Polk? Mr. Polk from uh, Mississippi, right? Are you, you're going to be over there in a few minutes with Crystal and Kim, I'm sure. Our two favorite ladies, our muscle girls from the Muscle Sport Mag family. MSM family. Those are my favorite people. Any, all of Joe's people are good people. If you get if you get involved with Joe's group, all you're going to meet are good people. You're not going to meet any pieces of shit. Um, because Joe is the real deal, man. He calls him like he sees him. He's a no bullshit kind of guy. I normally don't like New Yorkers, but for some reason Joe has gotten to me, and I like him a lot. Thoughts on Dr. Tony Huge. I fucking love the guy. Dr. Tony Huge is fucking awesome. Um, he sent the Misfits a bunch of Cialis and Viagra um, about two years ago. He's a good guy. I like Tony Huge. He's funny as fuck. Um, I'm not into the trannies that he is, like he is, but, you know, whatever. Live and let live. You know, if he wants a little fucking Polynesian fucking bitch, you know, lady boy to suck his cock, that's fine. Do you believe in ghosts? I'm not sure. Um, I would like to, because um, I think believing in spirits and stuff like that would be kind of cool. Like people that haven't gone to heaven yet, people that haven't um, ascended. Um, like demons. They say demons are, are souls that haven't ascended to heaven yet. And demons aren't necessarily evil. They do like to cause trouble, but they're not necessarily evil. Um so, you know, there could be a demon right here in my truck with me, you know, that just likes to raise fucking hell. We'll call him Brad. Brad's a fucking demon. Ha! Huh. Jane's Wet Labia just said, Lou isn't even live, you assholes. Thank you. See, they try and get me to say shit about Lou, and I don't want to say shit about Lou. Whatever. This chick didn't do a very good job with my hair. Um, I went to a, a more... I couldn't find a real barber shop that was open in Montana. So I, I went to a... Um, it was more of a salon. You know, she supposedly knew how to cut men's hair, but she didn't do a very good job. There's a bunch of places she missed. You know, when you wear your hair short, it's got to be perfect. Heh. <laughs> Big Chevy 55. I like being clean shaven and clean cut like a white boy. Well said. Yeah. Jay, when, you, when will you rub the lotion on Brad's skin? I'd like to kick Brad in the nuts real good one time. Uh, Jay, what's your favorite Mexican beer? Um, I haven't drank too many because most of them are piss. Um, Corona is the worst beer I've ever had in my life. Um, I much prefer Dos Equis. All right, we're down to 30 seconds. So it is time for you guys to, if you're not following... Crystal Wildfire Anthony, this is the time to check out Crystal Wildfire, her page. She'll be going live in a few minutes um, with my friend Kim Haynes, Fit Chicks or Muscle Chicks, whatever they call it. And they talk about all sorts of X-rated stuff. It's a blast. Uh, meet me 